It's so delightful to see everybody in 3D. Uh, thank you so much for coming. My name is Greg Morissette. I'm the Dean and Vice Provost here at Cornell Tech. And it is my tremendous pleasure to welcome you to the 2021 SENY Urban Tech Summit. Um, I'm delighted to be here today at our, what is our first major in-person event in this building. We just opened this in uh, August. It's the newest building here on campus. For, for those of you who don't know us well, uh, Cornell Tech is a technology-based graduate school offering PhDs and master's degrees in topics ranging from computer science, operations research, electrical engineering, but also law and business and policy. Um, and now health tech, connected media, and our newest program, urban tech, hence this uh, gathering. This year marks the uh, 10th anniversary of the original genesis of Cornell Tech. It was 10 years ago this December that the Bloomberg administration announced that Cornell and the Technion had won the competition for the Applied Sciences and Engineering campus here in New York. Um, and we've actually only been on this campus uh, for the last uh, few years. We started in 2017 with uh, the completion of the first two buildings on the, on the campus. Um, while we've been on Roosevelt Island for four years, it's, it's hard to imagine what all we've managed to accomplish in a short time. We've graduated more than 1,200 students, uh, both engineers and entrepreneurs. We've expanded to eight different master's programs and five PhD programs. We've built an amazing faculty that are world leading in areas such as applied AI, cybersecurity, and privacy and tech ethics. We've helped spin out more than 80 companies. 95% of those companies are based right here in New York City. They employ more than 400 people and have raised more than $150 million in venture capital. In reflecting on the last 10 years of Cornell Tech, uh, I've been thinking more broadly in terms of New York City and the role that technology can play in helping to tackle challenges like urban challenges. Technology has become a bit of a boogeyman in recent years, and there are plenty of good reasons for that. But at the same time, there is real potential for it to be used in a way that makes our city stronger, fairer, and more resilient. Our urban research initiatives um, span the strategic to the tactical, ranging from a 10-year horizon scan, forecasting the future of technology in cities, which you'll hear about later on, to the role of off-the-shelf technologies that can help New York run better and serve its citizens more effectively. Our, our faculty and students are helping New York City measure greenhouse gas emissions in the city's office buildings, helping determine the city of New York's uh, street trees, uh, their, their health, helping assess municipal digital infrastructure, and helping uh, develop devices to monitor pediatric asthma, amongst other things. So we have a broad and very inclusive view of what constitutes urban technology. Stepping back, Considering the next 10 years of Cornell Tech, I have three major goals for this campus. Goal number one is to be the leading interdisciplinary tech campus in the world for applied AI, uh, as well as augmented reality, robotics, and other disrupt disruptive digital technologies in an age where increasingly the cyber meets the physical. Uh, Cornell and the Technion are both highly ranked in these fields for their academic work. And the goal of this campus is to translate those foundational advances into real-world impact. And by impact, I don't just mean building throwaway startups. The world doesn't need a, yet another app to serve the 1%. Rather, we need to take on the deep, wicked challenges from climate change to the growing costs and inequities of healthcare to the threats to democracy brought on by the last tech in, in, innovation. Goal number two for the campus is about inclusion and access. To take on these challenges, we need a much more diverse tech ecosystem here in New York. One that welcomes and supports women and people of color, people with disabilities, and people from around the world. In short, reflective of the demographics of New York itself. We must understand and find solutions to the problems brought on by data-driven decision-making, such as privacy and security bias and transparency and machine learning, and we can only do that with diverse teams. Diversity is a critical advantage that we have here in New York City, but we must embrace it. Goal number three for our campus going forward is to be as innovative in how we educate as we are in the technologies that we develop. That includes programs like our studio and, uh, curriculum in which master's students in law, business, and engineering practice product design, 
prototyping, and entrepreneurship. Studio is central to our philosophy of training students through interdisciplinary, project-driven work based on real-world engagement. We bring in over 100 companies to work directly with the students in Studio. Another example of education innovation is our runway postdoc program, where we bring in PhDs from around the world who are deeply trained in some technology but want to shift from being a scientist to being an entrepreneur. And we help to train them to build and run a business and connect them to the New York City ecosystem. So these three goals, being the leading AI campus focused on real world problems and embracing access and inclusion and being as innovative in how we teach as what we research are essential to our continued success in the years to come. A central part of our mission is to bring people from across the city's tech ecosystem together. And I'm so excited for the next three days uh, where we'll hear from researchers, engineers, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from across a diverse spectrum of tech talent in the city and beyond.